So if you have been following our channel for quite some time, you must be already aware that recently we have launched our fourth iteration of the Lambda Advanced Backend Development course. And this is kind of like the final call video that if you are planning to actually accelerate your career in backend development and make some really, really interesting and impactful projects, which are going to keep your resume slightly a bit more different from the rest of the resumes that generally gets used, uh, then this is gonna be the last, uh, I would say last, last call that you can actually go for, right? So um, starting from mid of Feb, we are going to start our live classes on the advanced backend development Lambda 4.0 course. This course is going to be comprising of tons and tons of really interesting projects. Some of the projects I'm going to list down. For example, we are going to talk about how you can make your own live streaming application. Apart from that, we are also going to talk about how you can make your own Netflix-like on-demand video streaming application. In these kind of applications, you will talk about how you can make a video uploading service, how you will be able to process the video so that, let's say somebody uploads a 4K video, you process that down to, let's say, full HD, uh, then HD, then let's say 360p and so on. And let's say if the user is having lower bandwidth, then how you can serve a lower resolution video. And more of these kind of really interesting engineering challenging problems we are going to actually tackle. Apart from that, we are going to make a dedicated booking system where we are going to talk about everything around transactional capabilities of a database, how you can make sure that let's say um, two people don't, uh, like one, one person doesn't actually repeats anything, right? For example, if let's say, let's say they are making an order, then how you can avoid somebody double clicking the button and putting the same order twice or making the same payment twice, right? How you can implement these kind of strategies using hide impotency. Apart from that, how you can make sure that, let's say if there is a last resource left and two people are actually trying to access it, how you can resolve all, all of these conflicts. And many more interesting, uh, I would say, booking system related problems we are going to talk about. Once this is done, we are going to move ahead with some more interesting uh, projects like designing your own lead code backend and one full stack project also where we are going to create a code sandbox like project where you will be able to initialize a react project on the browser but that react project is going to be running back on your server people can actually come up and code that application altogether so a lot of these kind of different different interesting projects and more such projects we have actually added so that once you complete the cohort you are having a lot of interesting projects to put in your resume that looks impactful and are definitely better than the traditional CRUD apps that you generally make. Apart from that, we have added some really interesting modules around in-depth discussion of databases, really interesting discussion on database, internals of database, how SQL and NoSQL is going to work, right? how acid properties around SQL works, things around MongoDB, some really interesting discussion around MongoDB and some very interesting cloud databases like Amazon DynamoDB as well. Apart from that, we have added a dedicated module on AWS. How can you actually do horizontal scaling, auto scaling, vertical scaling, all of these actual concepts, how you can implement, how you can actually do replication on MongoDB, these kind of hands-on cloud-based lectures we have technically added. Apart from that, there is an interesting module which was actually, which was not initially the part of the cohort, but after the request from the students, we have added it. That's an introduction to Golang kind of like module, where we are going to see how you can use Golang to actually prepare your services. This is going to be an introductory module. Along with that, there is going to be a dedicated um, introduction to high level design and introduction to low level design with your TypeScript. And because the overall cohort is going to be a TypeScript first approach based cohort, we are going to use everything around TypeScript altogether. So you can see a lot of interesting things we have added. Definitely the top three to four people who are performing really consistently in the cohort are also going to be, I'll, I'll also help them for getting referrals, right? I'll try to put their resume as much as possible in different, different orgs uh, of my friends if possible. All of those things are definitely also also the uh, given add-on along with this particular course. So you can see a lot of interesting offerings are actually coming up and this is going to be a one-stop solution if you want to take a deeper dive and not just want to be stuck on another tutorial which is just making a CRUD app. If you want to deal with some really interesting edge problems and actually code those solutions for those edge problems then this is going to be a one-stop solution for you. I will put the link of the cohort in the description section below. Please go through the complete cohort description on the website and then make a decision. I have put the detailed curriculum on the website also so you can check that out. Also, you can use the coupon code backend to get maximum possible discount and I'm really, really excited to see you guys on board in the first live class for this cohort. That being said, let's wrap this particular video here and we're going to meet soon in the next set of videos where we are going to continue our discussion on tech and career. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. I'm Sanket Singh, signing off.